look, in every single organization, there are people probably like you working way too hard, spending way too much time and money and resources solving the wrong problems. And you know why? There are two main reasons. The first is the temptation of the presenting challenge. That's that bright, shiny object of the first thing that shows up and you go, that's the thing, let's try and fix that. The second thing is what we call the advice monster. Your inner advice, the need to rush to solutions, the need to offer up the answer as fast as possible. And you know what? That absolutely suckers you in to just spending all your focus on the wrong stuff. Now, in our Coaching for Great Work program, we talk a lot about blue card coaching. Blue card coaching is all about getting clear on what the real challenge is. And if you can just slow down the rush to action, if you can just figure out what the real challenge is, you're gonna work less hard and have more impact. Who doesn't want that? So look, I'm gonna give you the one, two, three combination of questions that will allow you to build a new habit based on the blue card coaching. Here's the very first question that you need to master. What's the real challenge here for you? Now, listen to that question carefully because it's important how it's constructed because you can make it less powerful. Listen to this, what's the challenge? Yeah, kind of underwhelming, right? What's the challenge here for you? Hmm, that's getting a bit more personal, a bit more intense. What's the real challenge here for you? Now we're into something. We've got a real focus on what really matters, on what the real heart of the challenge is. So that's the first question to get under your belt. Okay, the second question of this blue card, one, two, three combination is my favorite question of all time. The best coaching question in the world. Look, I've just got a trademark on that. That's how important I think this is. You probably already know what this question is. It is, and what else? I know it sounds simple, but here's why it's so powerful. The first thing somebody tells you is almost never the only thing, and it's rarely the best thing. The other reason, it stops you leaping in with the advice monster, because they're doing the work for you. So this is the second question, and what else? What's the real challenge here for you, number one? And what else, and what else, number two? That sets you up for the third question, which is all about focusing. Once you've got that, you need to say, so, of all these options, which one should we look at? Which one should we focus upon? That's the third powerful question of this one, two, three combination. So let me show you exactly how this works, how it actually looks. Here we go. This is the shape of blue card coaching. What's the real challenge here for you? And what else? And what else? Okay, so which one of those should we look at now? What, here? Perfect. So what's the real challenge here for you? Hmm, and what else? Okay, anything else? All right, so if you had to pick one of those, which one would you pick? Here? Right, so what's the real challenge here for you? Okay, anything else? All right, bottom line it for me. What's the real challenge here for you? Bingo. And I promise you, if you've got the discipline, if you've got the habit to work your way through here, what you're gonna be working on is not the first challenge, but the real challenge. And can you imagine what it would be like for you and your team if you're not spending time just solving everything that comes at you, but you're spending your time working on the critical challenges, the real issues, the stuff that has real impact. That's what I want for you. So here's how you need to be thinking about it to build a habit, okay? Because it's all about building that new habit formula so this becomes a part of your everyday way of working. When this happens, somebody comes into your office or your cubicle or on the phone and says, here's my problem. Instead of leaping into action, leaping into solutions, leaping into offering them advice, instead, you're gonna ask them something, you're gonna ask them the first of this one, two, three combination, what's the real challenge here for you? Do that, I promise you're gonna spend less time working on the stuff that doesn't matter and more time solving the real challenges that do.